At approximately 8 a.m. on the 2nd of September 1970 in Liverpool city centre, England, bin men who were carrying out their daily routine made a chilling discovery. In an alleyway by Rodney Street, they found the body of a young woman sprawled on a pavement, lying on her back with her clothes soaked by overnight rain and a bag of uneaten chips beside her. Police were immediately contacted and it was noted upon initial investigation of the scene that the woman had been strangled and sexually assaulted, notably missing her tights and underwear. Furthermore, police concluded that the victim had passed away before 3am that morning when the rain began, as her coat beneath her was stone dry. It was not long until the unidentified woman was named as 19-year-old mother of two, Lorraine Marguerite Jacob, who lived in Russell Street. Lorraine had been witnessed in Yates's Wine Lodge on Great Charlotte Street at 9pm the evening prior, and was also seen at a Great George Street chip shop at around 10.20pm. A pathologist determined that Lorraine had been killed between midnight and 1.30 a.m. Initially, it was believed that Lorraine had died due to mistaken identity, and after many reports of similar attacks in the area, authorities made an appeal which was shown to a packed Anfield stadium during a match between Manchester United and Liverpool. Authorities questioned over 3,500 people and took statements from 900 of them. However, despite police's efforts, tracing the person responsible for the teenager's death proved difficult and sadly, the case quickly went cold. Decades passed and there were no further clues or answers as to why the young mother was killed. In February of 2010, an astonishing breakthrough in the case was reported. A 78-year-old man named Harvey Richardson had passed away in a hospice from bowel cancer. Following the man's death, his property was to be redecorated, and whilst clearing out his belongings in the study, decorators found not only a gun and air rifle, but a brown leather satchel which was packed full of envelopes. Curious, they rummaged through the contents and discovered many newspaper cuttings about the murder of Lorraine Jacob. A sealed envelope which stated private and confidential was recovered and opened, the inner writings providing a jaw-dropping breakthrough in the case. On nine pages of A4 paper which was foxing at the edges, Harvey Richardson had scrawled a detailed confession to Lorraine's murder. Another disturbing find within Richardson's belongings were a pair of blue women's underwear, later confirmed to having been the missing underwear of Lorraine. Harvey Richardson was born in Rochdale in December of 1930 to his mother and chest surgeon and radiologist father. His beloved mother was a constant figure in his life before her death in 1994. Throughout the years, Richardson suffered with several mental health issues and on his mother's deathbed, she requested that others should take care of him and she also secured a residence for him on Reservoir Street, which he lived in until he was moved to a hospice. He had worked as a waiter in the Mariner's restaurant as well as Yates's wine lodge where Lorraine was seen on the night before her body was found, but it is unclear when exactly he was employed at each establishment. In 1981, he travelled to Germany to teach English and went on to study for a degree in languages at Manchester's Metropolitan University, which was at the time known as Manchester Polytechnic. 
In Richardson's 26-paragraph confession, he wrote eloquently about several details of the case which were notably absent from the public domain. He began by recalling wandering towards Upper Duke Street, where he encountered female friends, which authorities believe to be a reference to sex workers. His recollection of events said how he was heavily intoxicated when he met Lorraine Jacob on Pilgrim Street at approximately 11pm on the 1st of September 1970. Richardson had spent the entire day binging on alcoholic beverages in several different pubs after learning that he had failed exams he had taken in order to become a librarian. Lorraine, on the other hand, had spent her evening out with friends and had purchased three small bags of chips before making her way home. Jacob and Richardson conversed for a short time before they fell into a bitter argument by Rodney Street, where Richardson became enraged and strangled Lorraine. Seeing red, he ripped off her tights and took her underwear, as well as her purse which had been lying in her handbag. Investigators managed to piece together an incident around two months prior where Lorraine and one of her friends paid a visit to Richardson's dwelling on Huskisson Street, where they searched his bedroom for two cameras. Having successfully retrieved them, the pair swiftly left the property. Richardson had been away at the time, but soon discovered that the cameras had disappeared. Eventually, it was made apparent that Lorraine and Richardson had rowed over the latter, having allegedly taken photographs of Lorraine's children. Police did not believe that the pictures taken were anything but innocent, however they could not confirm when or where the photographs were snapped. Richardson's confession letter, which detailed events over the course of approximately 90 minutes, stated that following the incident with the vanishing cameras, he became very irritable and angry at Lorraine. He snatched her purse from her bag because it contained a ticket for a local pawn shop, however he never used it, instead ripping it up and disposing of it, as well as Lorraine's purse which he had sliced up into many pieces. He took her tights and hanged them on a tree branch in Sefton Park, which was within close proximity of his new house. For reasons which he did not explain, Richardson kept Jacob's underwear in his possession for almost 40 years. The confession letter concluded with Richardson returning to his house after having murdered Lorraine. According to the Liverpool Echo, the Jacob family have not found closure, with the perpetrator having not faced any punishment for his crime, and in later developments, the Jacobs tirelessly battled with Merseyside police, who eventually admitted that they had lost many of Lorraine's personal possessions and photographs of the family which had been given to them. DNA tests were carried out on the underwear and they were matches to both Lorraine Jacob and Harvey Richardson and police were able to corroborate around 90% of the events spoken of in Richardson's letter. There had been a reappeal for the case in 2009 and many people came forward to help. Several who had known Richardson described him as a loner, who was an outsider with no real friends. He was a clever individual, and it came as a surprise to some, but not for others, that he had been holding a dark, chilling secret for almost four decades. <laughs> 